American painter Georgia O'Keeffe is best known for her paintings of flowers and desert landscapes of the American Southwest. But many people don't know that she was also an abstract artist. Now, an exhibit at the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C., is featuring a rare selection of her abstractions, along with some of her more traditional art. Elsa Smithgall is associate curator at the museum. Most people really do associate O'Keeffe with her sensuous flower paintings, with the bleached bones of the desert of Southwest, of the beautiful verdant landscapes in Lake George. And yet in this exhibition, we get to bring together those works, the familiar, alongside some of the really pure abstractions that, that O'Keeffe herself didn't exhibit often in her own lifetime. These charcoal drawings from 1915 are among some of the abstractions in the exhibit. And they are just exquisite uh, gestural uh, drawings, very organic in form, and no recognizable reference to uh, a known subject. By the 1920s, O'Keeffe was moving from abstract drawings to paintings of subjects that seem more familiar. During this period, many of her paintings were described as sexually suggestive, a notion that O'Keeffe was quick to reject. Well, I think that the sexualized reading of her work she fervently resisted in its time, when it really first surfaces in the 20s. She really spoke out strongly against it and, and has said that she was making a concerted effort to shift her focus in her work towards more recognizable subject matter um, as a way to try to steer the critics towards another kind of reading of her work. In 1929, O'Keeffe began spending time in New Mexico, where she felt more at home than she had in New York. The vast open spaces of the desert inspired her to move there permanently in 1949. And it brings up a whole new body of subject matter, a lot of the New Mexico landscapes, but also those great sun-bleached bones that she'll hold up against the sky um, to frame the view through the socket of a pelvis bone, for example. During these years, her paintings took on a different feel. You start to see her depicting flowers increasingly large in format and increasingly greater in magnification. And so you start to see a major change in her scale, in her viewpoint, taking these unusual birds and bees eye perspectives. By the late 50s and 60s, O'Keeffe's art turned once again to abstraction. This is not a work that you probably would see on the wall and say, oh, yes, an O'Keeffe. So there's that uh, surprising aspect to them. What's so exquisite about them is that she has, with very spare compositions, created these exquisite forms that are extremely expressive um, and that do recall those earliest charcoal drawings in, the, in that respect. Georgia O'Keeffe's later paintings inspired a younger generation of abstract artists, and her body of work continues to impress and inspire art lovers throughout the world. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.